Hi everybody, welcome to live sessions for Wednesday. Um, it is Wednesday, right? <laughs> Has anybody lost track of days like I have? Just saying. Um, today we have some awesome people. I'm so excited. Uh, let me get them on here. Yay! Hello. Hello. I was a little worried there. It wasn't gonna connect. <laughs> Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. We've been recording today, working on our new album. Yay! And rehearsing for tomorrow's show at 10 a.m. <laughs> this is Emily McVicker. Hi, Emily. Nice to finally meet you. Hi. <laughs> Thank you for all the lovely love and posts and stuff. Yeah. Oh, hi, Aline. Oh, Aline's on there. Oh, Aline. Of course. No, it's Alinas. Um, Alinas. And I'm Marina Christopher, and we, um, at the start of this whole, you know, new situation we have in our world, we uh, started, we made a band, and we're recording yeah. an album, and we have a live stream show. Yeah, I was watching your guys' show the other day. I, it's, you guys are kind of funny. <laughs> I, like, I was like, I this so. is actually kind of entertaining. Like, not that you aren't, but like, I hadn't seen one before, and I was mm -hmm. like, and these guys are entertaining. Like, this is funny. <laughs> oh, good. I know. We don't rehearse the comedy, so that's a high compliment. Yeah. <laughs> you guys do it very well. I I'm terrible at comedy. I'll laugh at everything, but I'm terrible at it, and I appreciate good comedy and music. Well, that was one of the first things when I, like, uh, Marina and I both also, in regular world, we've played a lot. We play a lot solo or with other yeah. people, and yeah. when I was just a fan of Marina's. I just loved, um, she was not only good at music, but she was like so captivating and <laughs> had good jokes. Yeah. I stole a few, but they didn't work same on me. <laughs> Which one? I don't, know. don't you hate it when that happens? <laughs> I just don't have the same kind of charm that she does. Right? I, I'm, I that's, my, that's my plight too, friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's mutual, so I'm glad our, our forces are combined and they're not. They're yeah, not. right. We got to write our own jokes. Right, but, yeah, right. We have this family friendly live stream Thursdays and then the morning because we were thinking, oh, like that's after breakfast time. That's a yeah. good time. Um, and uh, one of my favorite compliments we've had, or just comments, was it feel I've never met either of you two, but it feels like I have friends over hanging out. Aww. Yeah. Um, that's like, way awesome mm -hmm. I mean that's been the best thing for us like because of this pandemic that we mm -hmm. our normal schedules and our normal grind is slowed to a halt yeah because um, you're both that, musicians full-time right mm -hmm. right yeah that's what I thought okay yeah so we, we've it's been really nice to have someone to lean on and to work yeah. with yeah yeah right it, I has it been like a really was it in the beginning just a really hard transition to just like go from just grinding as a musician and then it just like nope like was there just any kind of like change that you had to go through to be able to kind of get through the last couple months for for me like the second week of March really felt like um going through grief it took mm -hmm. there was some stress and some denial and some like yeah panic yeah um which still seems like it's there a little bit like i'm i feel like personally i'm able to focus on a task at hand i saw yeah. some things where it feels like a, our culture in general is adhd or add because <laughs> or yeah but yeah so. everybody's having a hard time slowing down everybody's like always moving and always going and grinding and well, yeah and that's very natural for us so i think having a project to work on has yeah. been like therapeutic but also um it gives us kind of a sense of normal yeah, yeah normalcy. and does, uh, does it give you like a routine too and like a schedule almost kind of there's a routine something to look forward to yeah i've gone yeah. through depressive episodes before and definitely having things to look forward to yeah helps move that forward but um yeah and a bit other big motivator is we were both work working musicians in seattle it's it's expensive to live here so we don't have that big of a safety net so creating yeah. housing that we can be proud of and also potentially could help us if everything dries up. That was a big motivation. So yeah. I play bass 
Uh, right, actually, the stand-up base, right? Yeah, it's over there in the back. Can you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah there it is on the ground. Yeah. Oh, in the studio. <laughs> yeah, in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Emily plays all the instruments, mostly mostly ukulele on this particular because it's called copy and ukes. We both have yeah. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I think it's great. It's a catchy little uh, a, a catchy title, you know. Like it's just really cool to. I I was impressed. It was it. It's a very good like. You guys both play well, and you're you're funny, and you have like really good camaraderie, which is awesome. And oh, thank so, you. Yeah, you know, like I I just think it's well like just well thought out and well done. Cool. Are you in Seattle as well? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Oh, well, I'm not in downtown Seattle, um, but I'm in on the east side. But yeah, I'm in Seattle. Yeah, I um, so I uh, had uh, seen um, Marna, I've seen you play uh, with uh, uh, your other band that you used to have or are still part of. They're all, they're all happening. I think it's a long distance relationship. So I have a band. Yeah. My band I lead is Marina and the Dreamboats. I'm also. Yeah. Like New Year's Tees and the Bad News Botanist, if you. Yeah, it was the Dreamboats. Okay. So you were in Battle of the Bands. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So that show? she was at that show. I was at that show. My friend Casey Ryan played that show. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah. And so um, I, I was there to see him. And then I saw you. And I've just kind of been following you guys for a minute since then. What happened at that show? What happened? I won. Oh, <laughs> that's right. You were the you were the and ended up being the winner, right? Yeah. Yeah. Me and Marina's mom were like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because it was again you and uh, uh, Emma Caroline Baker were like the last two standing, right? Was it you yeah. and Caroline yeah. Emma Caroline Baker were the last two standing? Correct. Yeah. yeah. Correct. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's that's particularly funny to me because the drummer in my band showed me a message from her asking him to play in her band really and yeah drama. yeah it was, it was kind of drama i'm like on one hand get that money but the other, other hand you're you're my secret sauce man. yeah <laughs> and he's like all that's good that's crazy you know? Yeah, Chris. Yeah, I I know Seattle like shares their their musicians for sure. <laughs> like, there's a couple of. <laughs> You're like, no, we keep it to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I I noticed that's kind of a, a well, I guess it's more the country scene that does that, that where they they share all their musicians and. Oh, I feel in the ahead. jazz musician world. It's it's whoever is available. We're yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, um, that same in that yeah in that genre too. Yeah, uh, it's it's funny <laughs> to me because everybody's like you know they they all like go I'm gonna play with this person I'm gonna play with this person and I'm like wow okay <laughs> like I didn't know well, you could play in with me. Seattle there's all kinds of different pockets so like there there's yeah. the jazz pocket and then there's the country pocket and then there's the pop part pocket. Yeah. And some people just like jam and know all the jammers, and some people play by themselves and know all the soloists. Yeah, it's all for clicky. Sure. Yeah, but all I, personal at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's cool if you you know if you can be that versatile. It's, it's when I met Emily, she was she's run a number of successful open mics. So she had one at a place called the Dane. That's where I first met her, and she had one at the Sea Monster Lounge. Have you been to the Sea Monster? Lounge? I've been there twice. Yes. Yeah. Um. And so I, that was the first time I've really ever been to an open mic or met more singer songwriters. Yeah. It's like a whole community. It's a whole community. And it seems like a, it seems like a little more isolated in the jazz world because you kind of have to practice your own thing and then bring it. And jazz yeah. is more like, can you come play now and read this thing or, right. you know, the song? Right. <laughs> right. Activity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. I'm glad to, um, I'm glad to be a part of it. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, gotta, you gotta meet everyone if you can. Every time yeah. I feel like I know everyone, then I meet a whole other pocket where I know nobody. Yeah. Well, it's it's kind of cool when you're like kind of a fan of somebody, and then you end up, you know, becoming friends and being able to like you know collaborate at that point, you know. And I think that's that's really cool yeah, that you guys kind of evolved like that. That's What's that say? This is Kirby Crackle. They're a local nerd rock band, but they are actually kind of world famous. Oh, I've never heard of them. 
It, it might be uh, but this is another local band. It's it's me. It's my band. Oh, <laughs> I can't. I lost my bad arm. Okay, oh, there you go. Oh, <laughs> I like it. I like that shirt. That's cute with the little duckies. Oh, I'll get you one. Yeah. On so you know, in addition, we've been at home working on our side hustles. So I've been working on like you know video stuff, yeah. getting that gear. Emily is a very talented artist. There's a bunch of like, you know, paintings and canvases. Oh, and wow. I'm learning to do digital. She's learning to do. Look, she it's me. A, she got an iPad Pro. Oh, that is awesome. So for you Dang, viewers out there. You're so talented. If you viewers out there need some help with graphic design. Yeah, man. Find me on Twitch. I'm going to make Vicar music. <laughs> so, <laughs> Sounds good. Kind of, you kind of delved into the online. Oh no! Oh no! Um, we're fine. We have all the technology here now. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you started these interview series kind of before internet everything went online, right? And so yeah, you, uh, I've been doing it since um, since August. Okay. Um, so I, oh, I yeah. started in August, uh, doing it live, and I um, in person at a studio in Tacoma. Um, and then, uh, once COVID hit, I was like, well, now I can't do it. And I was thinking of just shutting it all down and not doing anything. Uh, and then, uh, and then one of my friends was like, why don't you just do it live on Instagram? And I was yeah. like, I guess. <laughs> so I did a couple of them and then a couple of people found out about it. And I have literally done it every single day, but Sundays since March 19th. Wow, you're seeing my whole messy studio here. <laughs> it's okay. The lighting, the lighting. So there we go. Oh, oh there you go. That's better. Yeah, way better. Ta -da. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so it, it's yeah, it's been a, a project. It's it's been a project and a half um, keeping this going and finding it, it was something that I uh, I've wanted to do for a while. And I I'm a musician, too. And it's just um, it was like my my kind of thing I always wanted to do and never had the courage to do. And then like last year I was like, woohoo, I'm gonna do it. And cool. Yeah. So Casey That's was cool. the first person I ever did. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so yeah, it's been fun though. I've I've got to meet so many cool people and oh, I've made so many cool friends and yeah, it's been a lot of fun. And much like you guys do on your show, you know, you just have fun and have something to look forward to, you know. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Well, we are very, we have some exciting news that we're going to share it, but there's someone at her door. So, oh, <laughs> it's funny. There's someone, she keeps getting the wrong number packages to like someone, oh. someone's dyslexic in the, and whoever, ha you know, all the cards yeah. that turn to deliver something. And so I think she's meeting the alternative world. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, but so our album is, um, we've been recording right here and we do a live stream and uh, we have an official date that we're releasing. It's July 18th. So our, our Kickstarter actually ends tomorrow. Yeah. But we met our goal last year. Yeah, I Thursday. saw that. I was going to say congratulations because I know that's a hard feat. Yeah, it's it kind of, you know, it's, it's a little weird when you put something out there and hopefully people catch on and they are yeah. bite, you know, and they have and it's very nice it's very yeah. rewarding and we're, we're working hard to have everything finished soon talented i don't see how anybody would not catch on to that well it's a little different like uh doing all the work your your yourself i mean yeah i've been yeah. privileged to record on a bunch of other people's stuff and emily's recorded on other people's stuff and one on her own things and it's it takes a long time but just to decide like we have time now to do it we're not as yeah uh distracted with other not just busy or doing other things but yeah um <laughs> so that's that's cool and it's a lot of the songs we've written right now during quarantine especially we're both we're both learning how to record uh at home because a lot of times the the the, the DAWs the recording stuff if you yeah. have it you can do it at home and figure it out and was that was a hard thinking, process it's a little bit how making sure you have adequate gear it, or adequate yeah. adequate it doesn't have to be fancy it just kind of has to, to work and you know how to make the pieces all work together yeah but we're both commenting like 
writing these songs and not really worried about, oh, who's going to perform this? Are we going to be able to do this live? Like, what, what, just letting the songs come out however they are Yeah. for this not time. So it's a nice little snapshot. So, so what's your guys' like, um, process for writing then? That's a great question. Oh, that's a great question. Well, it started with Marina leaving me a text message with her voice. <laughs> <laughs> and she goes, damn, Emily, finish this song. <laughs> and then she's like, then she stopped right before we jumped right on a cliffhanger. Yeah. And so I took it in my own direction. Yeah, yeah. that was like the first week that we decided we we're going to do something like this. Um, And then... Then we've also gotten a little better at, like, we've been really building our, I don't know if Marina was this well. I was gone. I was solving a mystery. Oh, yeah. I told her. I told her a little bit about it. We heard about the mystery. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a relief to actually solve the mystery. Um, but Marina and I have both been building our home studios. So not only are we working together, but we're creating a little bit more of a sustainable um, stuff to do on our own mm -hmm. so that we can be more self-sufficient. Yeah. Who cares if anyone hires us? Who cares if anyone wants to hear us at all? We're right. going to do what we do. You're like, yeah. we're going to do it on our own, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, that is great. <laughs> so so she she sent me a track, and she just, like, she had a great chorus, and then yeah. um, left some blank space. She's like, fill in the blanks. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like a little songwriting game. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting, though, because then you both have something to bring to the table, right? Oh, and, always do yeah your creative can just like flow and it's not there's no nothing bogging it down yeah actually and our you know our most recent uh and i think maybe last song that's making it on the album was i wrote a story and a poem and i had a little riff and then i was like stuck on it and then i was like yeah. can you please write a hook <laughs> <laughs> and that's all, that's all I needed to she, ask. She emailed it to me, and I think I, I sent you back, and the title was, I think I wrote a bridge. And then, <laughs> and then so we just put the baseline on that right right before we were talking to you today. So yeah. it's fresh, fresh, fresh songs. Do you guys have anything you can play for us? Oh, oh let me yeah. get an instrument. She an instrument. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She also has a. Oh, just kidding! I got a cat instead. Look at the kitty. That's Cleo. Is that a naked kitty? Yes, a, a sphinx cat. Oh, hey Cleo, eat it. And you know, I've never seen them up in person until she got one. Yeah, but it still has like a little bit of hair. It feels like I like the description. It feels like a warm burrito <laughs> tortilla, <laughs> like burrito. <laughs> Um, I have never heard anybody say that before. <laughs> do you want to do She's my little burrito. So this was the song. Actually, I, at first when I got her, I named her a Mexican name because I <laughs> love Mexico and yeah. Spanish. Um, but it, I don't know, it didn't suit her, so we started calling her Cleo. Which what did you originally funny. name her? Rosita. Rosita. That's a good name, though. Yeah. 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 Yeah, she doesn't look like a Rosita. Chloe, Chloe seems to fit her a little better. Cleo. Yeah, like Cleo, Cleo. Sorry, Cleopatra the Sphinx. Cleo. Come on, Cleo. Yeah. This was the song that I sent her that first time we're talking about. Yeah. We turn it into kind of our theme song for our show. So you've probably heard it. Yeah. Or if you tune in. Hi. I oh, thought you put cat butt in her face. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> in a probe. <laughs> it's family friendly. Yeah, right. Get in the frame. <laughs> TV show like an old TV show oh good yeah. yeah I I love it like I uh, it's so happy and just like exciting and invites you in it sounds happy but originally I thought of it because I the last family event I went to was a, a wedding my cousin got married on March 1st 
Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this, this was near the end of March that this came about. And I'm like, well, I don't know. <laughs> Whenever, yes. I, when am I going to see the rest of my family again? I have no idea. And like, yeah. Oh uh, my gosh. So I sent her the first half, basically. She came up with the second. I sent her two versions. There was a fun version and a dark version. <laughs> a dark version. A dark version. And, and I'm also thinking, like, people, music tends to go through these waves where sometimes when people go back to acoustic music. They're, yeah. You know, maybe right. this will be one of those times. Yeah. But, do you guys um, ever, is it strictly on the, on the uke or do you do it um, on the guitar too? We have get done some guitar, there's but we're guitar. trying to keep it on the theme. Yeah, there's right. guitar, there's a little bit of keys, there's, I have an electric ukulele, like a, a solid body. Oh yeah. The electric ukulele, that's on there. But also thinking like, try to find the balance of it, what we want to hear in the song and what we could actually perform live still. Right, so. yeah. We wanted it to be, um, you know, accurate to how we are in yeah. acoustic, but yeah. also transferable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So it, um, how, uh, going back to like the process, do you guys do like the music, are you guys more music related like first or is it like the lyrics first or what inspires you to like write the song? What I think this is like a combination of I really struggle with lyrics. I love coming up with with interesting chord progressions and finding a melody that, because I'm a jazz guy, right? I like yeah, jazz, jazz guy. Chords. So I like when I can find that um, it's satisfying to me musically, but it's still like hummable, singable. Yeah, and, and right. Has some I like telling lyrics. stories. So mm -hmm. like, I, that's I why you guys were she... great together. Oh, she, <laughs> she changed. The, uh, she added lyrics. Like I had just been humming, like, hum, 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 on this, and I just heard today the lyrics that she put on. I'm like, those are great. Ah, so. that's awesome. That's great. Well, see, and that's what makes a good like duo, right? Like you, you, you have to have that kind of flow and that kind of like chemistry to be able to make something be magic, right? When it comes to music, and that magic. Yeah, hopefully, uh, complimentary complimentary skills and stuff mm -hmm. yeah for sure yeah exactly what's the like the hardest part you found musically being in quarantine um, other than the obvious playing out in public i that oh you know. <laughs> well i'm the, like it's kind of an existential crisis for me because it's hard to imagine going back to uh things how how they were honestly and if venues will still be there can they afford to hire people to work as or music okay. um so and then also just my life before I, yours too was like kind of hustling like driving around to five different places just to make mm -hmm. a day's yeah. work and so there's a way to um, i don't miss the driving Right. <laughs> don't miss the driving <laughs> although this is like kind i of hear that tense time i also feel very now i'm just about it, very creative and yeah. how to continue that how to have a better work life balance yeah right so part of this thing where we've invested our time and energy to continue that and what what about what about you what's uh i think sometimes just like the I get a little bit like bogged down by kind of the big task of designing, like learning all of the stuff, but implementing it right away. Yeah. Like we've been doing it forever. And then like, I think my mental health in combination with my physical health, it's been really hard. Cause like I used to like to go running and it was kind of a nice break for my mind. And now yeah. um, it's kind of stressful to go outside at all, even yeah. walk around the neighborhood or, run around or people getting in your space and so yeah. sometimes it keeps me in the house a lot and that's not good either yeah so right. um, I and I also don't want to be jumping around and exercising in here because I don't know how much my neighbors will get here <laughs> oh yeah that's true yeah right <laughs> so you know I, it's more the personal stuff yeah um, but actually I think that even though these times are really sometimes challenging and uncomfortable and they hurt and they're like very emotional. Unfortunately, this is the kind of thing in your life that makes you grow the most. Yeah, right. And I know we've been forced to grow, which is not, doesn't feel good. Yeah. But, um, and but as musicians too, right? Has it, it's 
I'm sure it's helped you as musicians too, though. Yeah. It, in, yeah. Well, what's funny is so like Marina usually plays in bands, whether it's someone else's band or her own band, and um, well, put you by yourself too, but um, yeah. but I very very rarely play in bands. So I usually I do a one woman show normally, so yeah. I have actually never played this much with another person, oh, and. Awesome. So it's kind <laughs> of like, oh, I did not. <laughs> she was like, so I haven't really like, you know, it's, it's yeah. showing me where I can grow as well. Yeah. So I just have, I just keep multiple lists of things I have to do. <laughs> yeah. That, well, that's good because then you're, you're challenging yourself, right? It's keeping it interesting and keeping you moving forward, right? Instead of yeah. staying stagnant and in a place and letting that take over, you know, I, I would think. For sure. could be wrong. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. That's exciting, though. I mean, to be able to, like, you guys came up with this whole, like, album just out of, out of you know, the necessity of the time. And mm -hmm. I, I mean, you both are really talented, so I'm sure it, it's going to be amazing. And I've heard a couple of the songs, so I feel like it's going to be amazing. <laughs> well, we have, you know, uh, it's been really fun actually making updates and like, I've never been on the internet so much, yeah. but I've never been so active <laughs> on social media. Yeah. But um, I've done quite a bit of video editing in my lifetime, but Marina's been doing a lot of our video editing and she's been doing such a great job. I'm like, that's exciting. Yes, keep doing it. Another yeah. skill. So you guys are just stacking up the skills. That's what's happening. You cannot yeah. just do one thing. You just can't. I yeah. learned, well, I learned a British word I feel like really applies. It's called bodge, bodging. Bodging. And that's like a quick fix that ends up being the permanent one. <laughs> so I feel like I've been learning and making stuff. And it's just like, it's fine. Put it out there because that's the only option right now. And it's yeah. fine. It's good. Yeah. So. I but I like it. You guys are adapting. I mean, it's... it's <laughs> Yes. Yeah, so, so we our Kickstarter is goes till Thursday at noon it's tomorrow. Oh, I mean tomorrow at noon. And oh, tomorrow. I already told okay. that we are releasing our we album that's her treat on July yeah. 8th, July 18th, but we we saved special information just for your show. Really? That's We're awesome. doing we haven't told anybody yet. Uh we have a, a live performance with the Fremont Abbey. They do sessions in place. And so we're doing a live stream for them on July 18th. And album release. The same day. So we Yay. have an album release party, which, and we have a gig. It's something to look forward to. Yay. Um, and if you that is going seen, on the calendar. Yeah, right. there's going to be lights and smoke and stuff. They do every Saturday night at, is it seven or eight? I don't know. But they have, so we are talking to them. Because the camera angles are on point. It was the first time I watched. I watched Hallie Gregg and Jarrett Samples. Yeah. Great. And they, Amazing. it was like, it felt yeah. like I was at a show watching my friends again because they put that extra effort. And then yeah. it turns out they have lighting since the light <laughs> tours aren't happening. They got yeah. like, professional lighting basically for free. <laughs> so it looks so good. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm excited for you guys. Yeah. Well, so um, if anyone's watching and wants to like keep up, you can see some of our recent update videos that Marina has edited. Yep. <laughs> um, and also stay tuned for that. And also our 10 a.m. show every Thursday. Coffee and you. Every Thursday at 10. Yeah, I will. Um, I'll get. I'll list out the information. Um, if you guys want to, I can do that too. And sure. and share it with everybody awesome we've got a, a coffee and ukes instagram too yeah i'll i'll share that one too yeah i was trying to share it today and and uh tag you guys but it wasn't tagging so yeah i, I haven't figured out how to tag live yeah. we've also got a youtube channel too right marina <laughs> oh that's true yeah do you have it on there too or is it just instagram it's just we just do the live show on facebook oh, i've been taking facebook. i've been just That's started right. Sorry, putting I meant up clips, it. like highlights from it on Facebook or on yeah. YouTube. YouTube. Yeah. And then Jeez. we also have um, a Rogue Story Productions. He's the guy, Chris Wadsworth, is mixing our album. So he went through and showed what he's doing through one song, which is really interesting. Super Yay. cool for everybody. So Awesome. I'll find it and share it with everybody so they can go watch it. Oh, thank you. Yeah. And follow <laughs> a Rogue Story on Instagram. Yeah. I'm excited for you guys. See, I think that you guys are just like killing it with the, the whole quarantine. Like who cares if it's quarantine? You guys are just crushing it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the company helps. Yeah. yeah it's true. <laughs> the 
that's know. true. I hear that. Yeah. Oh. I miss the company too. <laughs> I miss the going to live shows for sure. <laughs> mm -hmm. But I think it's awesome. You guys are amazing. And I, I appreciate that. Um, Thank you so much. Thank you for having us on your show. Yeah. Do you guys want to sing one more song before you go? Um, sure. Yeah. yeah. What is the song? You can do it. Oh, yeah. Here one, go. two, one, two. You, you can do it. Write a song with no one line. You can do it. Start a song with no one line. You can do it. You can do it all by yourself. You can do it. Even if you gotta ask for help. Yes, you can. 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 Scroll and scroll and scroll, but there's no way to turn. School may be out, but I got so much to learn. So much to learn. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's only today. Only today. It's <laughs> around with me. I wasn't going to get up anyway. But then something in my heart screams in my face. You can do it. Just take it one step at a time. You can do it. Start a song with only one line. You can do it. You can do it all by yourself. You can do it. Even if you gotta ask for help. Yes, you can. 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 You can do it. Just take it one step at a time. You can do it. Start a song with only one line. You can do it. You can do it all by yourself. You can do it. Even if you gotta ask for help. You can do it. Yay! Woohoo! Yay! Yeah. Condensed version of our song, and tomorrow our theme on our show is songs, songs of, of encouragement. encouragement. That's so, all perfect, yeah, perfect for the time. Yeah. I love yeah, it. Yeah, so uh, you can shoot us any song ideas that you have, although uh, we already have a plan. But <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time we've gone off the rails. <laughs> well, I appreciate you guys coming on. I love you guys and think you're just amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll Thank sure you. This is Emily McVicker. Hello, Marina Christopher. Hello. Yeah. Make sure everybody that you follow them and uh, the Coffee and Ukes and support them. And, you know, they're amazing. So be sure to check in with them and get their new album when it comes out in July. Woohoo! Woo Yay! You can order it now. Pre sale. Pre sale. Yay! I'll be sure to put a link for that too. Yes. Tiny URL. Yes, for sure. Dot com slash Emily and Marina. There you or emilymarina.com send it to me and I'll put it in there <laughs> thank you so much yeah bye you guys bye, bye. bye.